Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Everybody does a mock draft this time of year, and I don't really care what somebody says about a mock draft. I, like, I don't, I'm not like praying that it happens, unless if it's the pick that I actually want to happen. But sometimes there, I think there are interesting things that you can uh, derive based on who is putting out the mock draft. And Mike Tannenbaum from ESPN, who you might know was a, a former general manager with the New York Jets for a long time. Um, and uh, so he did a mock draft. And I only found this interesting because of how it played out. Like everybody else, he's got Caleb Williams, number one. He's got Drake May, number two. And then he's got uh, Jaden Daniels, number three. So I shouldn't say like everybody else because a lot of people have Jaden, number two. But, but the quarterback's going one, two, three. What's different is Mike Tannenbaum has J.J. McCarthy going number four to Arizona. The J.J. McCarthy love. Muse, you're looking at me, but I'm telling you, man, like... This is a guy that was an NFL general manager. It's not like some schmuck who's got a blog who throws up a mock draft and has J.J. McCarthy. This was an NFL GM who knows how a lot of these people think and is certainly connected to the league. Um, he's got Joe Alt, five to the Chargers. Malik Neighbors, six to the Giants. Uh, J.C. Latham, the offensive tackle out of Bama, seven to the Titans. Dallas Turner to Atlanta. You notice the name I hadn't called yet was Marvin Harrison. He's got Marvin Harrison dropping all the way down to nine with the Bears. So my point is that I've made a lot with this draft cycle is when you have a run on a certain position, it is going to force really talented players down in the draft. So Marvin Harrison is a guy that a lot of people think is the first, second, third best overall player in the draft. Well, if you have this run on quarterbacks... If the top four picks are all quarterbacks, where's a wide receiver needy team? I don't know. So it could force a guy like Harrison down to nine. I'd be devastated if this happens. He's got Olu Fashanu going 10 to the Jets. It's my dream scenario for the Saints. He's also projecting a trade where Kyler Murray ends up going to the Vikings. It, whatever. As you keep going, though, Quinion Mitchell to Arizona, Bo Nix, 12 to Denver. Again, another quarter. This is the scenario I keep playing out at, as to how the Saints could end up with a ridiculously talented player at 14 that feels like you're stealing him. And Mike Tannenbaum has the Saints taking Roma Dunze at 14. I don't know if I love that because I don't know if I want the Saints to take a receiver at 14, but if Roma Dunze is on the board at 14 and you feel like he's a top 10 pick in the draft and you're getting him at 14, I, I could I could understand it. By the way, he's got Brian Thomas going 17 to Jacksonville. And the thing, and you may roll your eyes and say, ah, that'll never happen. He'll never be on the board at 14. Maybe not. But every year, the NFL draft teaches us something. And maybe this is why the Tannenbaum thing was interesting to me because he's a guy that's been a general manager who's been in draft rooms and has lived this firsthand, how this kind of happens. How sometimes guys that we all think are going to go much higher than they do fall. And maybe you do see Marvin Harrison end up ninth in this draft. Just like a year ago, Jalen Carter fell to nine for a different reason. But look... There have been, like I looked this up today. I saw this piece of like the most painful draft slides of the last 20 years. Randy Moss went 21st overall to the Vikings. I mean, there's a long list of really talented players that saw their draft stock fall. Aaron Rodgers, 24th. Matt Leinert slipped to 10th. Brady Quinn went 22nd. Des Bryant, remember that? 24th to the Cowboys. Um, Vontez Perfect was an undrafted free agent. Remember the painful Geno Smith slide all the way down to 39th? He was there at the draft and didn't go day one. Johnny Manziel, 22nd. Randy Gregory didn't go to the end of round two, 60th overall. The Lyle Collins situation where he was going to be a first rounder, went undrafted. Laramie Tunsil, the bong thing. He slipped all the way to 13. Miles Jack, because of his knee injury, slipped to 36. My point is... Every year in the draft, something happens. 
and players go lower than everyone who does mock drafts and are projecting them to go. So you can roll your eyes and say, ah, Roma Dunze, there's no way he's going to be on the board at, at 14 when the Saints pick. Unless five quarterbacks are taken before the Saints pick. And as a result of that, someone who's a really good player is going to be on the board at 14 just as a result of five quarterbacks going ahead of you if it plays out that way. So you want to know how someone like Roma Dunze could be on the board? How Marvin Harrison could be sitting there waiting at nine? That's how. And that's from a guy who was a former general manager who lived in those war rooms and saw these things unfold. Well, the draft is always fascinating theater. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.